<clears throat> oh man, nobody is into anything saggy, especially when it comes to guys, girls, and your canvas, but it's okay. I can show you an easy way to correct it for any level of canvas out there, especially the cheap ones, which is where you're probably gonna run across this the most. And we're getting started right now. It's me, it's Wild coming at you to help you with your creative adventures. If this is your first time here and need a little bit of inspiration, creativity, or perhaps just some simple tips and tricks, you came to the right channel. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Ah, uh, a saggy canvas is so sad. It's basically the poster boy of erectile dysfunction for the artist, but it's okay. I've got a magic pill hack that's gonna fix it for you. Now, saggy canvases generally are caused by the way that they're stored or if they're old. If they're old, the cotton fibers generally just get looser over time. Or if you buy it from like an art store or online, depending on how they're stacked or if there's certain pressure weighing on the canvas, hey, you're gonna get saggy points or the frame can get warped a little bit, but it's all right. I'm gonna show you how to fix it all. Don't worry guys, none of the girls out there will even know you had a flaccid canvas. Now, most painters are familiar with the wooden shims that come with your canvas, which essentially go in the corner of your canvas on the backside to restretch the canvas overall to make it taut. But what if you don't have any of those wooden shims or any extra ones laying around? You still got a sad looking canvas that you want to use. Well, it's easy. I already went ahead and kind of made a saggy canvas for us all to use here. I just laid some of my common quarantine household items on top of it. Put a little bit of vodka, put a little bit of wine, and a little bit of lotion. Hey, don't judge me. I'm a lonely man during quarantine and I'm all by myself. I let this weight sit on here for 48 hours and it looks like this where it's got some pressure points and some dips to it. And yeah, it's saggy overall, which is probably like a canvas that you might have purchased at some time or how you just have one stored in your house. Now, an easy way to correct this is hit the back of the canvas with some light water and have it dry out in the sun. However, before you go into that, there's a proper way to do it. You're gonna need a tool here, and the tool is just an average everyday squirt bottle. Now you can buy these at your local discount store or even online, but if you want a nice little household hack, hey, if you have any extra like Windex bottles or any bottles like that, all you need to do is just clean out the inside. Add a little bit of water, some Dawn dish soap, make sure you get everything on the inside out, and make sure you also go through the spritz tube up there and then just wash it out and let it dry really quick because we don't want any of those added chemicals from the cleaners, but we also don't want any soap on our canvas. Now, all you need to do is just fill your spray bottle with water. Distilled water is best, but if you don't have any, common tap water is perfectly fine. Take your canvas outside and spray the back of the canvas with a nice dusting of water all the way across it. Now, just to let you know, you don't need to hit it with a super soaker. You don't wanna drench the entire thing. You just wanna make sure you put enough water on there that'll absorb into the cotton material. The reason is because all those fibers of that cotton duck have become loose and we just wanna tighten those up. And when we introduce water and we let the sun hit it, it's gonna start pulling that cotton material closer and closer together, which means you're gonna get less sag. It's gonna tighten the canvas up overall, which is perfect for what we want. Now, quick tip here, depending on how sad looking or how saggy your canvas is, you may have to do this multiple times, which is okay. Just spray the back, let it dry, spray the back, let it dry, and eventually you'll see it getting tighter and tighter and tighter over time. And here we go. Here's our canvas that was just sitting outside and it's way super tight. Toy like Toyga. It is perfect and ready to be used for any particular painting that you want out there. This is an awesome little hack. Now a little bonus tip out there that shouldn't have to be said, but I'm gonna say it. You wanna make sure you do the step before you even start painting or prepping your canvas. Hey, oil and water, they don't mix. Some acrylic paints out there are water soluble and the ones that aren't, water will make them break down over time or make them less strong, which means it could destroy your painting. So make sure you do this before you even start prepping or painting on top of your canvas. I know it doesn't need to be said, but I just wanna make sure in case you were confused about that, this is not a good way to correct a canvas that's already been painted on. This is probably one of the best hacks I can give anybody out there that's currently buying cheaper canvases and nothing's wrong with that. I buy them 
all the time. I love practicing on them. Now, if you need any more help, or perhaps you wanna move from a cheaper canvas up to a level one canvas, got you covered. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that goes over the review process of everything you wanna know about that particular type of canvas, plus some awesome tips down there in the bottom right-hand corner. Until next time, all you beautiful and creative people, my name's Wild, stay safe, and of course, peace.